All right, we have a we have a Patreon Patreon Q and A topic. Uh, Ian, uh, how do you access the CU podcast Patreon? I know it's on the tip of your tongue. You go to podcast or Patreon.com. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> I'm blaming that on being sick. You go I'm to not. Patreon.com slash CU podcast. They both start with P. He <laughs> likes to pee and then put soap on his hands and for water. Yeah, that's right. I do. Uh, so this was an interesting result because there's going to be, it seems like first and second place are going to be running neck and neck in the foreseeable future. We've started something on the <laughs> Patreon between the people that get into this. So in third place at a miserable 4%. That's like one vote. That's, 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 that's uh Jesus. That's Gary Johnson territory. Should sports teams ban its players from Fortnite? Four percent give a shit about that topic. And the reason I brought it up is because the Knicks coast complained about the players not having focus and not getting sleep because potentially they're playing Fortnite. And you hear this from hockey players and basketball players that yeah, they're playing Fortnite a lot. So so that's why I thought it'd be an interesting conversation to have. Second place, hanging on for dear life. Forty four percent, which is a, a usually that's good enough to win first place. What would the C podcast look like without that? So that's hanging around. There's there's now there's now a battle with the Patreon uh, uh, subscribers, the, the patrons, and w- in first place, uh, what NES game at fifty-two percent? What NES games are a lot better? Capital, lot better with two players versus one. Ian, take it away. Um, so I personally think uh, pro wrestling and ice hockey are way better with uh, real players as opposed to computer players. The ice hockey uh, computer players uh, have done nothing for me in terms of the year. <laughs> In terms of training me <laughs> for the marathon, apparently not, Ian. I know, I know but it's, it's always tight battles during the marathon. Always very, hockey. very close. Very close. Um, but yeah, ice hockey would be one of those for me. Um, another one would probably be, like I said, pro wrestling. Uh, after a while, pro wrestling is boring if you don't have someone to yell at. It's a good game. <laughs> it's a good game, but well, you can only go so far. Your title has not been defended in a few years now, Ian. So we got to defend that we title. We defended it last year. No, we didn't. Oh, okay. I don't believe we did. You still have it hanging up, so. Yeah. I'm actually using the NES Guide app, this is not a plug, to search for all the multiplayer games right now. How many, how many, how many think non-single-player non, non um, uh, single player games do you think are on the NES? Non-single-player? Non-single-player. So ones that are at least one player. Doesn't it be simultaneous, one or two alternating? 250. Oh, it's going to be more than that. 352. Well, I thought it'd be more than that. I thought it'd be like 400. So more than a, a little less than half of the NES games are multiplayer. So I have this on here. So, so, uh, so you're going to stick with sports games? Yes. I'm going to say I'm going to say uh, games like Doctor Mario, like two player puzzle uh, games, are sure. to me a lot more fun when you're challenging uh, an opponent. Uh, even uh, Tetris, people get in that mode, but I, I think puzzle games lend themselves to to uh, to fun. Board games, you can't play. You can't play anticipation by yourself. It's oh, just it's just not fun. Sure, by yourself. anticipation's sort of fun when you play. You have to make your own fun, but it can be real fun if you play it with two players. Go watch. Uh, I forget we d- we did that. That was probably 2011. The anticipation video. Yep. Was it even that late? To that was 2011. Might have been. Um, me and Ian, uh, Pat Daniels Punk video, uh, Ian as the unnamed game store employee slash manager. Uh, we, we had fun, and that was off the cuff, a lot of us talking about the game. It was a fun time. Yeah, the, the, the whole part where we're actually sitting there playing is more or less just... We're, we're the head of the time. That was a Let's Play in 2011. We, we could have been the game grumps, but actually grumpy gamers. We could have been that, Ian. Yeah. We could have been that. Um, I'm just going through the list here. What do you think about the arcade games? Are they less fun, the alternating arcade games? Like, like waiting to play a Galaga round when someone's uh, playing? Would you rather just be a single player? Yeah, I don't like that. You don't like just competing for a high score? I mean, I do, but you can do that without having the alternating. I feel like that takes you out of it. You think so? But it's fine in the arcade, I guess. I just... I don't know. Depends so, on the game. So uh, alternating games like Arkanoid, you would think, nah, it's not worth right, waiting around, giving the controller asshole. I mean, it's a fun game. Maybe. Uh, fighting games. Yeah, there's just none of those really on the NES. But yes, fighting games in general. There's overall. none. You got best of the best. You got tur- turtles I tournament said fighters. None. I know there's tournament turtles fighters. Tournament tur- turtles. Tur- 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 tournament <laughs> turtle fighters. Um, what about uh, platformers? Like Super Mario Brothers. Is it, is it fun to fun to wait? Well, one in three, two is single player. Which it's, I could... it's just fine. I mean, it's fun to do that, especially if you're hanging out with a friend, taking it easy, but I wouldn't say it's better. I, I think Super Mario 3, the fact that you work together to clear clear a world is pretty cool. That is. 
True. And they brought that to uh, Super Mario World. I think that's like that was interesting. <coughs> that was one I think things that really stood out for me was that map overworld. But using two players, and then you see, oh, who who would uh, who would be able to get the, the the hidden item house? You know, like who's going next? Right. There was a lot of fun. I think Super Mario Three Three is a lot more fun with two players. You're working together on a mission. What do you think about running gun shooters like Contra or Super Seas? Is that better with two? You think so? Uh, well, that, no, can hamper, that can hamper your style, it's though. It's different with two. It's, it's totally fun. different. Yeah. Because essentially, if one person is pretty good, the other person isn't, and then you get caught up because it's like waiting for the person. Then with the jumps, you know, if you jump too early, if they're way behind you, then you stop and you die. You need communication with, sure. with those games. That's like that's that's like NBA Jam playing with your partner. You need to always be talking to the person. Yeah. You know, today was an NBA Jam on the NES. Uh, they are. Uh, what about uh, uh, Master Chew and the Drunkard Who? That's a good two-player simultaneous it's experience. It's a miserable game. <laughs> uh, Miss Pac-Man. Well, the little, the Tengen version had a simultaneous uh, mode on it well, as well. Uh, as well. We, we're fuck it. NES Marathon. We're doing a lot of we're doing like a Miss Pac-Man block right. and just playing through that version of it. Uh, Paperboy. Nah, we got to wait for the person. Rampage. You, I think Rampage. You have to play. Two players, or else you'll never finish that fucking game. I hate Rampage, but I hate it even more in single player. I mean, cause you'll just, it was like a hundred and fucking twenty levels, whatever it is. It just goes forever. Yeah, something like Repeating. That. It's nuts. Um, side Pocket. My friend AJ Side Pocket. <laughs> I think that's probably even. This is a different experience beating the arcade at that. Good old Silkworm. That, that's better simultaneous. Yes, it is. Uh, most likely. Uh, just games like Jeopardy, Wheel of Fortune, I think it'd probably be more fun. Yeah. It's not good playing the computer at game show stuff usually. No, I don't think about like the Family Feud. The answer. Yeah. Like Family Feud on the NES, you want you want to play with with the uh, with, with someone else, or even the Super Nintendo version with that. Um, and then while I bear the No Gang, two players, it's double the fun. You just got to wait around for your right. throwing frisbees and skating over dogs 100%. and shit. Uh, Wayne Gretzky hockey is never fun. No, nope. it's fun with zero players. It's it's fun in the sleeve. It's the most fun left on the it's, shelf. The most fun you have that with that game is comparing the different different box uh, cover art when they when they lost the license to the to the Kings and he has a blank sh uh, sweater on hockey sweater. That's the most interesting that game gets. All oh, right, and Razor mates two players. I didn't know that. Really, huh. is that true or is that just n not in the app correctly? Being that my last dev was a piece of crap uh, and did a lot of things wrong. Uh, spoilers i have a new dev that's working on the app it's going to update it and it's going to come out hopefully within a few weeks um yeah he probably messed up stuff like that in the app but we'll fix that for that so i want to end on that uh, note anyway any, any other games better two players no that you think of not danny sullivan no really Then yeah, maybe maybe danny yeah super i think the super off road games are are, are are more fun with two players but they don't end so at that point it's just like right. well then everyone eventually beefs up their car and then it's not really fun anymore. Sure. No, wait a minute. They do end. Yeah, they do. Super Off-Road does end. Danny, Danny ends at, at the Indy yeah, 500. I was say, wait a yeah, they do end. Time. Yes. Okay. I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. I think the only arcade one ends uh -oh. for Super Off-Road. Maybe that's what it is. Because you can just play forever. All right. Uh, so anyway, if you want to see Ian's <coughs> writings or get his monthly hangout when he's in a lot better shape than this now, it's... Uh... Patreon.com slash CU Podcast.